finish the sentence. If the Cowboys win the Super Bowl, I will dot, dot, dot. Robert, I will stand up in the middle of the undisputed debate desk and I will dance. I will dance for a long, long time on live television because I will be happier than I've ever been in my sports watching life. And I will make it very difficult on the many cowboy haters out there who have ridiculed me over the last 27 years. I will unleash. Now, before I proceed, you might ask, am, am I jinxing myself once again by by even acknowledging the possibility that my Cowboys could, could actually win the franchise's first Super Bowl since January of 1996? No, I'm not. I told you sitting right here in this chair to this microphone seven weeks ago that this team this Dallas Cowboy team has genuinely explosive talent. I'm talking about true firepower and star power. Super Bowl ingredients. All of which you saw on display on Monday night in Tampa against the GOAT. Was that not a tour de force? Was that not a potential Super Bowl statement? And yet I remind you, my team did a 40 to three number on the Vikings at Minnesota, 33 to nothing in the fourth quarter on Indy at Jerry World. 40 po points we hung on, 40 points we hung on along with four takeaways against Philly at Jerry World. We did beat the Bengals, we swept the Giants. We beat the Lions 21 to nothing in the second half at Jerry World. Heck, I, I was even inspired that my Cowboys led at Lambeau against Aaron freaking Rodgers 28 to 14 through three quarters. I was very impressed that we led Jacksonville 27 to 10 late in the third quarter. Yes, 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 I know. We blew both leads. We lost both games in overtime. But even in those overtimes, my team was in commanding position to win both overtimes. Commanding did not finish. I got it. But we got this. And yes, 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 yes. You can argue back that we took our foot off the gas against Houston and then at Tennessee and God knows we did, especially at Washington in that season ender that I threw straight in the trash almost along with my DAC Prescott jersey. I almost did it again, but I refrained, fortunately, and thank you, Dak, for last Monday night. My team suffered are we there yet syndrome. My team was pointing toward nothing but the first playoff game. My team was looking way ahead, but as C.D. Lamb so eloquently said, we will flip the switch, and did they ever at Tampa? Super Bowl showcase. Whew. Did we not send a message last Monday night? We are that good. I hope you enjoyed that video. You ready for more? Make sure you click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from the Skip Bayless show. And don't forget to check out the full episode of the show wherever you get your podcasts by clicking the link in the description.